Hi guys, it's Hunter Knight from San Diego Comic Con and here with Mike Tolentino from SciShow behind the big reveal of the show, like the He-Man statues. Hi Mike, what can you tell us about this? Uh, He-Man has been a, uh, I've been wanting to tell people about this for months. So what we did at SciShow is we took our imaginations, we took something that we love and we wanted to apply SciShow's take on it. So it's a reimagining re -imagining of, of He-Man and giving it the layers and the detail that as kids we've always wanted. So we took elements like the sorceress uh, motif on his ankles, or his shins, on a belt, we kept the cross, a gray skull shoulder pad, and we took it and added more and more detail, like the leather skirt, the real fabric, uh, the power sword details. We really wanted to put it into a realistic world and just this nice fantasy mech world that He-Man comes from. It's amazing, yeah, like you can see the details, how it hasn't been, and it, and it has it has that particular sideshow touch to it, like yes. the Court of the Dead figures. Exactly. You can tell, and the Skeletor, the Skeletor, Skeletor is incredible. Awesome. Yeah, he, this was a great, because we, we were really excited to reveal him. So, Skeletor, again, taking your classic look, and up in the ante, gave him a real cloth cape. You look at the detail in the cape, We've got two layers of fabric, the light blue and that black to give it that real depth. The detailing on the skirt, he's got a Hordak on his belt. His exclusive is going to be a switch out head. That's going to be the uh, more of a classic skeleton the, the, from the cartoon. Wow. Yeah, we're really happy with it. Um, the plan is, uh, these are fifth scales. So we did it specifically so it's easy to have a nice collection. So we want to be able to have this like similar to our Star Wars Mythos line, where there's three or four in it. Same with this, we want to make it so the collectors at home are going to be able to afford it as well as space and money. We have uh, a couple other figures coming up. We've actually got one more already planned out, which is Evil Lynn. She looks awesome so far. And then hopefully, starting next year, we'll have another few to introduce. Oh my god, so fans can act, if this has enough support, fans can expect more characters in this? Oh my god. That's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping to, I'm hoping to be able to try up, uh, Dutila, Man Arms, and Trap Drop. That will be awesome because those, those are fan favorites, as everybody knows. Thank you so much for your time. Uh, this has been Mike Tolentino from Side Show Collectibles and Hunter Knights from Comic Con signing up. Don't forget to like our new Facebook page, The Toy and Pop Culture Feed, with the latest happenings in movies and pop culture, as well as the latest merchandise. Thanks, guys. This is Hunter Knights signing out.